Hi TCES second graders, I'm back again for the final part of our lesson on writing a character written response to our book, Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. In part one, we, we ha I had you go back and read the book by Miss Kristen, and then we wrote our sentence about um, the name of the book that you read and also who the main character of the book was. In part two, we worked on describing the character, um, talking about um, a physical trait of the character, and then um, inferring something about the character's feelings. In part three today, we are going to be writing, uh, writing your opinion about the book and the character. And here are two responses that you can use to, to tell us if about the character. The first response that you could choose is, I would like to be friends with blank because, or you could choose, I wouldn't like to be friends with blank because. I really enjoyed the book Madeline Finn and the Library Dog, and I really liked Madeline a lot. And I am going to write my opinion now about um, Madeline Finn, if I would want to be friends with Madeline. Again, it's kind of a long response, so I wrote it out ahead of time. And here's what I said in to support my opinion about Madeline Finn. I said, I would like to be friends with Madeline Finn because I like to practice my reading. And then I said, we could buddy read because that would give us both practice. So the third part of your response is to write your opinion about the, about the story and then support it. Now that we have all of the parts done of our written character response, it's important for us to go back and look to see that we included everything and I made a rubric for us. So there's lots of things that we have to check with our rubric. All right, I broke it down into some parts for you. The first one I have to do is, did I write a sentence with the title of the book and the correct punctuation? So here is my final copy of the whole response. I know it's a little small, but I wanted to see, for you to see how yours should look like when you get all the way done. So now I have to look and see, did I include the, um, the, the book I read? And I wrote, the book I read was Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. I remembered to put my period at the end of the sentence, and I remembered to underline the title of the book. So down here, did I write a sentence with the title of the book and use correct punctuation? I could put a check mark there because I completed that part. The second part says, did I write a sentence with character name and use correct punctuation? So I'm looking at my second sentence now. The main character is Madeline Finn. I started my sentence with a capital letter and I remembered a punctuation at the end of my sentence and I also remembered to capitalize the M on Madeline and the F on Finn. So now I can go on my rubric and I can mark that up. The third part says, asked in the rubric, did I tell character traits and feelings of the character using inferring? Part three right here. All right, I'm going to go back into my writing now and see, did I do that part? Um, I wrote, Madeline Finn is a little girl in, in early elementary school who is learning to read. All right, and I wrote, I can infer that Madeline is frustrated at times because learning to read is hard. So now I can look at my rubric. Did I tell character traits and feelings of the character using inferring? I told about Madeline Finn that she was a little girl learning how to read, and I also inferred that she was frustrated because sometimes learning to read is hard, and I also inferred that she has perseverance, 
um, and keeps practicing until she can earn a star. So I can mark that off on my rubric now. The fourth question says, did I write my opinion of the character and, su and support my opinion? I wrote, I would like to be friends with Madeline Finn because I like to practice my reading. We could buddy read. So now I can go to my rubric and also mark that off because I completed it. It's important that we check our writing to make sure that we have all of the things included. So I'm going to show the rubric again so you can take a peek at it. I hope you are, will find time to read books and write about the character. Happy reading and writing. See you soon.